Okay, so we are now doing the same animal experiment as before. Only thing we have done, we have replaced the simple uh, CRO screen with a digital oscilloscope. Okay, instead of a cathode oscilloscope, we are using a digital oscilloscope. So it basically will give you more stable sort of signal. So here, you are seeing the peaks uh, in the resonance condition. We have uh, almost uh, roughly set up the resonance condition. So this is the peaks. Uh, this is in X, Y, mode. and we have combined the X and Y signals. Okay. So what would happen if we go out of the X, Y mode? So let's go out of the X, Y mode. See different buttons are there to select different options. So we are not changing the time. That is, it says X, Y here. If you can see, it will show you say X, Y here. So let me try go out of the X, Y mode. Now this is the normal mode. Okay. So what is normal mode? What does that mean? So that means now uh, you see my channel one and channel two are two separate channels we are getting signals from two separate places and they are showing the signals separately. Okay, we have common time axis. So now the axis is time. Y axis is your signal strength. So what is the first channel? The yellow color channel is channel one here. Yellow color. It shows the display is also yellow color. So this is coming from your CR. You see, it's coming from the CR. This one, the green one here, is coming from your uh, frequency control setup. Okay, so this is the controller for the inductor coil in there. So it's coming from the sensor of the inductor coil. So now you see clearly there is a difference in the two signals, right? So if you look at here and if you sort of uh, look at the calibration for the x-axis, uh, you will particularly you will be able to measure the uh, frequencies for the two signals. Uh, again, that will be also be different. You see, there is one peak here, another peak for the uh, signal from the uh, main control unit and this is the time period for the main control unit whereas the time period for the green signal is this right there are different time periods so why you have different time periods and uh, why they look different that we have to explain all right uh, another thing uh, here uh, is basically you should remember that this yellow colored line that is coming from the main control unit is also the current that is going to the Helmholtz curve. That means this is the main AC signal. Okay. That means whatever AC current we are getting at this room, this is that signal. Okay. So this is dependent on that uh, current. So that means it has the same frequency. So all our rooms we get 50 hertz. So this frequency is 50 hertz. Okay. So but the green signal is coming from the sensor, so it's modified. So we will have to look into it and we have to try and understand why they are different. Okay. 